In case you missed them, all of those Trump flags and yard signs that have been in storage over the past year are about to make a reappearance as multiple sources report that Trump is going to announce his candidacy for president tomorrow, November 15th. In an interview on Steve Bannon's War Room podcast last week, longtime Trump advisor Jason Miller said that President Trump is going to announce on Tuesday that he's running for president. And it's going to be a very professional, very buttoned-up announcement. Miller also said that Trump told him, Look, there doesn't need to be any question. Of course I'm running. I'm going to do this, and I want to make sure that people know I'm fired up and we got to get the country back on track. Those following Trump's social media platform, the ironically named Truth Social, have also seen how he has been lashing out at potential 2024 rivals, especially Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. This infighting has caused angst among conservatives, some of whom just want Trump to step aside. But while there is a growing segment of Republicans that are ready to move on from Trump, the problem is that Trump isn't quite ready to move on from them. In Trump's eyes, he is the king of the GOP, and no one is going to take that away from him. In fact, late Sunday night, Trump posted a link to a poll which showed him leading DeSantis by 50 points, with the article he referenced including the caption, Trump is still king. What Trump doesn't mention is that the poll was actually done before the midterms, However, this brings up an important point that most conservatives have never understood about Trump. You see, to Trump, loyalty is a one-way street. He expects complete and absolute loyalty to him, but he will turn around and betray others at even the slightest provocation. Conservatives have been just fine with Trump's attacks over the past few years because they were aimed at Democrats, the media, or other institutions on the left. But now that Trump has turned his rage on DeSantis and Yunkin, some on the right are having a wake-up call. But they should have known that it would come to this. You see, if there's one thing we've learned from Trump, is that he will attack anyone in order to get what he wants. He has done this repeatedly throughout his life, not only in politics, but in business as well. Trump will attack DeSantis just as he went after all of the Republicans who challenged him in 2016. And when Trump attacks others, he takes the low road. Simple human decency is not part of the equation. And while we see Trump ramping up his attacks on DeSantis for his perceived disloyalty, imagine if DeSantis actually comes out and says something critical of Trump. If that happens, the GOP is about to experience firsthand Trump's vileness and thirst for vengeance. But while Democrats and a growing list of Republicans want Trump to slither away into the night, there's a very big reason that that's not going to happen. And it's a reason that's staring us right in the face. There is an end times figure that the Bible refers to by several names. The man of sin the son of perdition, the lawless one, the little horn, and several others. Christians most commonly refer to this figure as the Antichrist. The Bible tells us that the Antichrist will display a number of clearly identifiable character traits, such as being loud-mouthed and extraordinarily boastful. He will magnify himself in his own heart and has no regard for others. He is also described as a truly vile person, which means morally depraved, repulsive, and lacking simple human decency. He will also be someone who cares so little for the truth that he cast it to the ground as if it was worthless. But the Antichrist is even more than that. 
He is an unstoppable force of nature referred to as the beast, and the entire world will come to learn one thing about him. You can't fight him. Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? What's staring us in the face is that Donald J. Trump is that beast. He will destroy all those who come up against him, just as he's always done. No one will be able to fight against him. Numerous people have stated over the years that Trump is a truly vile and reprehensible person who lies constantly and is vengeful to an extreme. Even his ghostwriter for Art of the Deal, Tony Schwartz, called Trump the most purely evil human being he's ever met. But conservatives casually tossed aside all of those remarks about Trump because he was serving a purpose for them. He was attacking the left, and as far as Republicans were concerned, that's all that mattered. But now, the tide is about to turn. The beast that the GOP helped to create is now about to turn on them. Those Republicans hoping that DeSantis or someone else is going to replace Trump as leader of the GOP are in for a rude awakening. Trump isn't going anywhere, and neither are the tens of millions of Trump supporters. Trump and his supporters are willing to tear it all down, if necessary, in order to elevate Trump. He is the once and future king of the GOP. And just like Trump, his supporters will also do or say anything to make that a reality. Ron DeSantis or anyone else on the right isn't going to replace Trump as leader of the party. The GOP is the party of Trump, and it will stay that way for as long as Trump and his millions of MAGA followers want. The truth is that there is simply no one on the left or the right who can stand up to the evil force of nature that is Trump. No one can fight against this beast. If videos on Bible prophecy and specifically the Antichrist are of interest to you, please consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to click on the notification bell so you don't miss future updates. Thank you for taking the time to watch, and if you care to leave a comment, please do. As always, kindly be respectful in any comment you leave, especially towards those with whom you disagree. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you guys soon.